and Margaret Ann Windsor, and I'm, oh, there was a name given me when I was kidnapped from Buckingham Palace in 41, brought to the United States to Moulton, Alabama, and given the name of a twin, Peggy Ann Dempsey Childers. Both twins, Carl and Peggy, had been killed by their mother. They were born out of wedlock back then, and it was a pigsty. That's all I can say. She would have faced the death penalty gas chamber back then, so it was covered up. Um, the only thing I can think is I was brought in to Cortland Air Base, which was built during that time, and uh, dropped off. I know that Joe Kennedy was ambassador to Great Britain then, 36, till they kicked him out in 46, and he was appointed by uh, Roosevelt. They're part of the New World Order, the Freemasons, the Illuminati, the... Um, Trilateral, they are all the same people, the New World Order that's in place now, which Elizabeth and uh, Charles and uh, one of my aunts from, um, okay, I don't know why I do this on that name, uh, Beatrix of the Netherlands, okay, was part of the New World, or is part of the New World Order. They've been filmed with it. And uh, they have secret meetings. The Clintons are part of it. And so have all your presidents. Maybe Jimmy Carter wasn't. Uh, I don't know. But before I get lost trying to get back, give background again, I wrote a mind control uh, book, MD a License to Kill. Larry Flint was shot in Lawrenceville, Georgia, uh, while I was writing it. And I'm going to leave out some of this because I'll get to the end of the tape and I still haven't made my point on here. Uh, I got a letter from the FBI because a lot of things were happening to me and my children. And um, I thought it was because of the book I was writing about Larry McDonald, congressman, urologist from Piedmont Hospital. And by the way, his plane went down in August the 31st of 83. The uh, KAL uh, went down in the ocean from uh, Juneau, Alaska to... Um, Seoul, South Korea, shot down because it veered into Soviet airspace, and he was supposedly on it. All aboard died, so I was a candidate in that campaign to replace him, and um, he was part of what I was writing about in the book. Come to find out the letter from the FBI, which was dated uh, from U.S. Attorney William Harper, James Baker, uh, assistant um attorney, U.S. attorney, uh, of 79, I got the letter from them, and then on April the 1st, even with that letter, none of the harassment or any of it stopped the terror. I was given antifreeze April 1st, and they April free the joke. This whole thing's been a joke. Uh, could still the monarch take down the British Empire and have the monarch over here and just turn everybody loose on me. So April the 1st of 80, I was feel full of antifreeze, and uh, tox screen never done till I was illegally taken across the state line to Moulton. Finally done, and it showed antifreeze in it, and that was like uh, nine days later. And oddly enough, it wasn't sent to Alabama, state Alabama lab, lab where it should have been. It was taken in Alabama long after it had been put in me. It was sent back to Atlanta, Georgia, Georgia State Lab. So now I'm going to go, um, Simpson begins the mind control-like patterns, as in Simpson was supposed to marry <clears throat> my father um, and become the Duke and Duchess of Windsor, which was a lie. This is um, a double that married her, and she's an American spy. This is my father, and the reason they took him down, uh, he was married, number one, to uh, Georgia O'Keeffe's sister, my mom, Claudia O'Keefe. Irish-American Catholic. And it wasn't just that uh, some of the Windsors didn't like it. It was um, the New World Order. My father... <laughs> was a man of his word. He was a good man. That's the reason a 99-year seal was put on his takedown in my kidnapping in 41. 
Now, my own Uncle George, here he is in 39 with Roosevelt, who appointed Kennedy. Joe Kennedy was part of the kidnapping. And um, <clears throat> they were planning my kidnapping. <laughs> this is 39, and George, came, George became the illegal George VI. Now then, I wanted to get into this part and kind of, I don't know, it's... Um, well, it's the mind control murders, and they're done in patterns so they can be proven. And that's what Larry Flint said in the endorsement of April of 84 uh, magazine that uh, he endorsed me. And he said that they had made a pauper out of me and that I knew who was responsible for his killing. And I do. They've been deliberately done in patterns. Now then, the last year since I've been in Roanoke, the mind control murders continued, and I'm going to be redundant and say this again in case you haven't picked up uh, my prior tapes or, or Facebook or any other. I've taken it to the press over and over through the years, and it's controlled by the Rockefellers, the people that kidnapped me. Um, I uh, have a immune disorder. Uh, when I get around certain chemicals, um, my body reacts and actually my immune system attacks itself. So it causes a lot of inflammation, especially if you can get with this, that I've been forced fed. Wherever I lived is controlled. I try to leave Roanoke and I'm run back here. I have to come back and try to find a place to live. I lived on the Appalachian Trail. You have to have a job to pay rent. And actually the law has been a part of this because they're afraid of the FBI, the ones that are orchestrating it. And by the way, I might say that um, <clears throat> I don't know if they've saved my life. It's been a hell of a hell of a life. But I know this, that people, it's the people that did it to me, the citizens here that it's a different story if you meet them on one level in this circumstances as to where I'm coming from. I was kidnapped. I didn't kidnap myself. They wrote nothing but lies about my father. Instead of trying to help me expose it, they've tried to shut me up, kill the messenger. Uh, killing me is not going to stop agencies from using mind control, but these happen to be done in patterns and this is going to go off again. I'm going to say that I'm here where the Tierra, um, this is going to go off. There's no need in trying to put up another tape. The woman was brought here, I assume, with what she's told me the day. The chemicals have been used on me everywhere I've been. Now I'm so broken. and I mean, they're breaking the law. Every one of them were gotten to do, and this is going to go off. I cannot go back and do another tape. I guess I will. One more. This is the fourth one. I hope this 